Today I am playing Planet Zoo. I just want to start off by saying please ex excuse two particular parts of the video where it kind of sound like I'm talking in a cup and another part of the video where you can kind of hear like my keyboards or the mouse uh, while I'm playing. I normally don't play video games and record myself playing them at the same time. So I just want to ask, just excuse those two particular parts of the video. Enjoy the gameplay. Oh. She's pretty much in a suit and tie, kind of with glasses. She just checked the, the, the zoo and, and gave me a rating on the zoo and how well I did. Um, I don't understand that rating. I think I did really good so far. Um, the animals are doing pretty good so far, which is a good thing. Another good thing about uh, the zoo, I see my avatar is not here. My avatar was here earlier. Um, you get a chance to see your avatar come in and look at the zoo, and then you can see other people's characters, uh, their avatars that they've created. You can also um, go into first person view and look around as if you're looking at the zoo yourself, look to the left, look to the right, look at the other characters, and just kind of see what this particular person's avatar is doing. Zoom in, zoom out, go up and about, and just follow the avatar around. One thing I don't know is if the person's avatar, if they're actually playing their avatar, that I'm not really sure about. Um, this is another avatar. She's been here for quite a bit, looking at the zoo and checking it out. Um, this particular avatar is so, all. So far, I actually don't know. So you can get a chance to stand in line like you're getting something from the zoo to eat. Uh, which is a good thing. Which is, I said a good thing, which is fun. Something, you know, unique and different. For me, I'm really new to um, Planet Zoo. I've played uh, uh, Planet Coaster and understand uh, how to put down the uh, walk paths and understanding a little bit of that, but I'm very new to uh, dealing with the animals since the game is very new and I'm not really familiar um, with uh, a lot of the animals as far as putting them in the habitat, uh, how many genders, how many females, how many males, what size the gate should be, and uh, so I'm not really familiar with that. I'm still working on the, the old way of playing uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon when you would put the animals in a particular uh, habitat and you didn't really have to worry about male and females too much. You didn't have to really worry about that. So I'm very, very new to this. Um, I did get a chance to play the beta. As you can see it on the channel, I had a chance to play it and understand it a little bit. I had already gotten familiar with building a little bit. Um, it was just still new to me, you know, you have to raise the, the gate up a little bit higher so that certain animals wouldn't be able to escape. I remember um, a lot of uh, a certain particular animal would escape like certain birds if you didn't have the gate up uh, so high they would find a way to hang on the ledge and then jump out and so so far I've been doing really good with them not um, escaping from uh, their habitat the only issue I've had is uh, with these particular animals here are the alpha fighting the other male fighting each other and killing uh, the father. I know um, when I first got these particular animals here, um, it was just a male and a female, and they had kids, and these are their children. And so the father and the son was fighting for Alpha, and he killed his father. So um, that's kind of sad to see, you know, but I know in real life, it goes accordingly to how the animals are. So this is uh, mom. As you, as you can see, she's elderly. And uh, then you have all the other different ages here. 
uh, a different category, but I never really paid attention to the entire age of the animal until after uh, it said the father had died that they were fighting for Alpha. And then I have, uh, here I have two bears, which are doing much, much better because I have a particular employee taking care of them. They're his, her husband, well, I want to say husband, but the, the male grizzly bear died. So that's why you see that there's just two females, a baby, a uh, smaller one, which is the child, and then the mom. And then I have one uh, frog. I don't, I didn't want to add any more. I'm trying to start really small. The issue I'm having is the snails. The snails are just multiplying, 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 multiplying. It's just so many of them. Um, I started off with one snail and then I added a female and then I split the habitats into two. And so I have a habitat five and habitat seven. Now I need to split it again because their issues are they're having trouble with so many of them in the habitat. For me, I just feel like I just need to sell them all just to get them out. And so that's probably what I'm going to do on the next recording, just figuring out a way on how just to sell them, just to put them on a, the exhibit trading, just so that someone would just buy them if they want them, because it's just too many of them to try to take care of. Um, turtles, they have a lot of babies too, but they're very easy to take care of. I don't have an issue with their welfare. I'm just going to first see if I need to just, you know, with the snails, their issue is, is too many of them in there, and that's the problem that they're having. But it's hard to kind of take care of them in that way. Um, if you put them with a male and a female, see, population, it's just too many of them. Um, and then they start having babies and multiplying, having more babies and more babies. And, and so it makes it very difficult for me to take care of them and, and watch after them all the time when that's happening. Um, with the uh, turtles, like I said, they're very easy to take care of. I don't have issues with the turtles. Um, they love to have lots of babies. I had to put a heater in here. Um, oh, yeah, see, it's the snails. I don't, I don't know what to do with them. Over there again, I'm going to have to figure that out, see if I can, um, without protesters showing up, because they haven't come here for, particularly for any other animals in particular, but they have been protesting. So with the turtles, let me go back to them, I'm sorry, um, they've had a lot of babies. So what I had to do with the turtles, I had to put, um, a heater in here for when it snows because they were very very cold and, um, and so I'm, they're actually in the wrong weather I actually was trying to get closer to a weather I was familiar with but um, it turned out fine I put a couple of heaters in here and I put a sprinkler over there so they can stay nice and cool if they get kind of hot um, and so it's been working out they just and they have a lot of babies too, but they're very easy to take care of. Um, and so the more babies they have, the more um, plates that I need to put down, more food that I need to put down. So I need to put down like just more, just wherever I can, <laughs> wherever I can find and, and put them. Just put it there and there you go. And um, hopefully that will help but with the snails. Like I said, they're the most difficult ones to kind of take care of because they multiply so rapidly. So on the next episode, what I'm going to do is try to um, see if I can just put them up for sale. If not, I'm going to have to actually just separate the habitat and see what I can do or see if there's a way I can have a bigger one for them uh, for an ex exhibit. For them to be in so that I won't have this issue with them but um, so far like I said this is my zoo I have um, turtles snails giant tiger snails and then I have uh, I don't think I showed you the frogs yet 
Um, that's the frog. It's only one of him. Not, not, uh, he's hiding in the log there. Um, so it's only him in there. And then the bear. I'll go to the bears. Sorry, I was about to jet out without showing you the bear. That's the baby. mom. Like I said, I'm very new to the setup and understanding the game. I'm trying to do really better. I'm, I need to take care of the snails and see what I can do with them. Um, if I can save them from, you know, getting sick and ill or I just need to separate them again as much as I can. That's what I did the first time. I put them in two habitats. So, um, so hopefully that will happen with next episode and hopefully I'll have more animals with the next episode. I really don't know. That's why I try to stay small because I've lost a couple. The other one I had no control over that. That's for Alpha. That one I need to, I guess, separate that one too. Oh my God. <laughs> separate that one too. So thank you so much for watching and have a blessed day. Bye-bye.